What's up everybody? Today we're uh, going to be making a snorkel for the gambler car here. I've been meaning to do this to this car for a while so so we're going to go ahead and get this done. Uh, I did forget to order a 4 inch coupler uh, because the tube that I'm going to use is just this like Home Depot stuff and it's a 4 inch diameter and most of the stuff you find at the auto parts store is 3 inch so I've got one of these from the parts store and then just like a three inch to two and a half inch coupler and then I've got some random intake pipes and stuff like that laying around. See if we can't make something uh, come out of here and come out the hood somewhere in here and up on top of the roof. Metal intake pipes I had just aren't the uh, right shape. So I ended up using the flex pipe I got from AutoZone. Um, the metal pipes, I couldn't get them to come all the way over here to fall into that part of the hood over on the edge. The closest I could get it was somewhere in here. And then uh, I didn't want the pipe like running up close to the middle of the windshield. I want it more over here on this side. So using the flex pipe, lets it go wherever it needs to go. So I'm gonna uh, get a hole saw set up. I don't have one nearly that big. Double check to make sure that's lined up right. Which it's flex pipe so it can go pretty much wherever I want it to. Yep, that'll do it. Turn that down. Don't want any metal shavings going in there. Flex pipe sticking up through there. All right, so now I need to get some uh, hose clamps and stuff and get that on here good. All right, got that clamped on there, and I'm actually going to take some gasket maker and make a seal all the way around this. Got that all sealed up. I don't see any way for water to get through there now. All the way around. All right, so while that's drying, um, I'm gonna try and make some sort of like plate to cover that up. All right, got a little piece of sheet metal cut out here and uh, it's just not coming out how I want it. I cut it out with some tin snips and it was a little uneven and then I ended up drilling my hole off center also. So this really isn't coming out how I want it so I think I'm going to abandon that and I'm going to uh, just going to cut some slits in this hood here and then like peel it back and probably cut little angles in it 
and uh, see how that goes. Maybe it'll turn out a little better. Just grab some pliers now and bend all these up. All right, went ahead and put the flex pipe on there. And then got all these triangles bent back. So we just close the hood now. So from here, we got the other piece of pipe, which my coupler's not in yet. But it will be here before I finish this video, so hopefully tomorrow. Basically just like that just it'll have you know a coupler and then up the windshield and to the top of the roof I really hope we never get that deep in water so from uh, from here it's just waiting on the mailman To uh, to bring that coupler and see if that filter will go on up there like that <laughs> probably should figure out some way to like strap it down I don't know probably just some zip ties or something I have no idea if y'all have an idea let me know so we'll pick this back up whenever I get the coupler and finish it up All right, next day now uh, went ahead and got that coupler put on it came in the mail So we just need to uh, close the hood now and get it connected on the other side. So I still haven't thought of a way to make this stay in place though. Um, I'm just going to throw a big zip tie around the top of it for now though. Definitely would not uh, stay there but it'll hold it in place just sitting here. I. Uh, I gotta get a four inch hose clamp for that filter also though, so. So that's what we've got now, um, missing those two, two hose clamps and like I said a second ago, I'm, I'm not sure how to secure it. So if y'all have any ideas for that, let me know. But I think with this flex hose that you might even be able to open the hood if you really had to without taking it apart. Let's uh. Let's try it, see if it works. It doesn't go through there very easily because the spikes on the other side, it kind of gets hung up on it. 
But if you had to in a hurry, you could definitely rip that hood open. And it would either pull out of this coupler or the flex pipe would just stretch out all the way. So that's good to know. But that's gonna be all for this one. Uh, thanks for watching. Just let me know any ideas you have for this to make it better or even just the car in general. So we'll see you next week for another one. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe.